Hey Robert, it's Nate Roy, and uh, I was making a short video of the aquaponics system for you. Um, it's a very cool, very cool system. So it, the action starts here with uh, the main fish tank. Attached to the main fish tank is a smaller refrigerator tank that is um, for the smaller fry that we introduce as they get bigger from here. They go into uh, this main tank. I'm gonna come over here, grab a little bit of food. So you can see the fish we use tilapia. They stay hungry. Because uh, of the well, nitrate levels and such. But anyways, um, so goes from here for the main fish tank into this first blue barrel here with the wood cover. This is the swirl filter. And uh, the main, or the water, runs out of the swirl filter and the solids gather at the bottom there and that pipe we can take them off and then right here the cleaner clear water goes on but we take the solids off the bottom of this barrel and we put them into this barrel this is the mineralizing tank uh, so we use airlines to bubble the solids to basically break them down faster mix a little bit of compost this is a compost um, tea in with that and then we even mix in some Raw, raw molasses. The sugars in the molasses help break this stuff down. Plus, the natural byproduct got some nutrients in there. So it runs from the swirl filter um, through this barrel, which this barrel was an experiment that um, is no longer that needed. So I won't go into that, but uh, it runs from the, the swirl filter into the media bed. Media bed is one foot deep, 24 foot long. Water enters in down here and exits down there. We got planted. Um, uh, that tomato's not looking so hot. Neither is that zucchini, but we've got some peppers and they look pretty good. Um, this cucumber plant has given us like 35 cucumbers so far. Um, Swiss chard. That's a. Uh, Whiskey. It's a Guatemalan type plant. This zucchini is looking pretty good. This zucchini is looking pretty good. Experimenting on some carrots, some beans. Uh, but, anyways, so the water leaves the tank here. This is the Vel siphon or auto siphon. And what it does, in short, it allows the water level in the bed to go up and down. So the plants get their water and nutrients, and they also get their. Um, the oxygen they need. This is a moringa, by the way. These are some really awesome Swiss chard plants, which they, uh, I wanted to go to seed. I don't know if they need some cold weather to make them bolt or what, but um, it's so, so hot in here. By the way, <clears throat> the temperature in here right now is 90, all right, 96. And um, that's common, it usually gets to 100. It's about 10.30 in the morning right now, and it'll get a little warmer. But, so that's the media bed. These are the deep water culture beds. Uh, they're, you know, they're on the floating raft. This is what most people, I think, are familiar with. Um, here we've got romaine lettuce. Uh, looks pretty good. Only one issue that you can probably see right off is, I think that um, the internode links on the lettuce are are long because it's you can see the stem so well and it's not like bunching up into a into a you know normal looking remain but it is edible and i wonder if that has something to do with the heat i'm not real sure here's some basil um that one looks pretty good that one looks a little deficient in nutrients but you know you've got your uh, roots suspended in the water and air lines oxygenating underneath you may or may not be familiar with that. Uh, and then we've got Swiss chard here, and um, this is black seeded Simpson lettuce. Um, just just kind of getting started with that, trying that out. And over here in this bed, we've got um, mint. That was a request from the cooks. Yerba buena, that's what they call it, mint. And, um, and this is some more romaine. Oh, this is romaine here. 
and then all, all that over there is romaine. With at the beginning some more black seeded Simpson. Um, so then it leaves these three beds and goes back to the pump. Um, this is a uh, wicking bed experiment here. Doing pretty good. I got my plants in a little tight, but I, I, I these are all like most of them are root based, so like carrots and onions and uh, radishes and turnips and stuff like that. But then we got some moringa trees and a, a pepper. This pepper is kind of my control to see how this pepper does versus the peppers over there in the um, in the media bed. But uh, all this concrete you see here, it's quite a bit, of, quite a bit of area, and that's for the dimensions. If I had guess, I'd say oh, 30 by 12 or so. Um, all this is a sump. Collects the rainwater off of the off the roof. So it goes in off the roof through the gutter, down the pipe, and into the sump. Um, the system water doesn't circulate with the sump. It just goes through tubes to uh, keep the system water cooler. But um, this water, this water in the sump is actually 80 degrees, and it's like ground temperature, and it's hot. Um, but it's better than 100 degrees. So uh, there's our pump with the with a backup pump, and um, circulates through here, cools off a little bit, and then it enters back into the fish tank. Um, I have the system off right now because I want you to be able to hear me over the pump. But I'll turn on the system right here to let you see it going into the fish tank. So we've got, um, you know, we got it jetting down to give the fish tank more aeration. Plus the got the ventrilli effect going here. It's pretty cool. Um, so then, you know, the process starts back over. Same here, off that same line, we've got ventrilli and water coming into this tank. And this tank drains directly into the media bed. Doesn't go through the slow filter. So that is our system here at uh, Shadow of His Wings Orphanage. And it is to uh, mainly provide lettuce for the cooks. Good, clean, organic lettuce. We can't use any pesticides or um, organic, I'm sorry, or synthetic type stuff because, um, well, our fish, and we don't want to hurt the fish with anything we put put on the plants for it because it could potentially end up in the water so so that's pretty cool and it does really well um, I'm gonna stop this video and make another short video about the greenhouse